Growing up, there'd be some stories about this point. When you, you look back uh, during the history of Tahiti, we were like really ahead with sailing, using the wind and reading the stars. And it's because of this canoe that they were able to go to all these islands. Uh. So this is like an identity of our culture. Huh? I always felt kind of lucky huh, to grow up in such a unique place. The Ahupo was the way to heaven. What created that way that is the Ahupo huh, is the balance between every element that surrounds us here. Huh? In Tahiti, we say that every rock, every tree, every mountain, they have a soul and they have a history. Huh? They come from somewhere. So we are connected to the roots of this land. This water from the mountain shapes all the reef and then the reef shapes the waves we have. This is a perfect balance between all these elements that creates this beautiful place. So right here, I have my twin fin. This is what I've been riding uh, the most the last two years. Huh? This is like a really old board. This is what I keep next to my bed because this is the board that I had like some of the best waves of my life with. The first wave I've ever got with that board was the deepest barrel of my life. Huh? I love this board so much. This is a really special board for me. This is my toe board. Huh? It's a really small board, it's only a 5'8", super narrow. And this is what I use when it's like, there's like a cold red. That's what I'm gonna be using. Huh? I love waking up every morning, staring at these boards and dreaming about the, the ride I'm gonna get on these boards. So, yeah. Very early in my life, I knew how special this place was because of that wave. I grew up surfing Te Ahupo and it's a perfect way to learn how to get barrel because the way is so mechanical and perfect that for me it was just a playground and place to be a better surfer. Imagine the whole power of the ocean arriving like super fast on the shallowest razor sharp reef. So it makes that weird shape when it goes below sea level and feels like the ocean folding on itself when you see that huge wall of water standing up in front of you and feel the power of that wave. That's unique for me about that wave. I went to Jaws, I went to Pipe, and the Ahupo has her own personality for sure. Huh? I used to be terrified of the blue of the water. A lot of people in Tahiti, bro, they're scared of this color, the blue. For them, it's just the unknown. But now I'm, I'm craving for that sometimes, you know, when I go and I'm, I'm just staring at the blue and I take a big breath and I just dive as deep as I can, you know? Fuck, I love it. I'm so excited to put a mask on, just go explore. Uh, it's so calm, it's another world. And when you're underwater, you feel like, Phew, I'm nothing. Uh, I usually go spearfish when I want to eat some fish. This is like some really nice and clean fish. Huh? At least I know what I'm eating and you can just swim to the reef. And there's always something to eat here in the water. I've been fishing here since I'm like 12 years old. Fishing helped me a lot for sure with the knowledge of this place. Spearfishing for me is the best way. Huh? As long as it's, it's just for eating, huh? you take one fish or two, you go home, feed your family. For me, that, that's all good. Huh? That's, that's a part of life. Huh? It's a big part of our culture to, to go fishing and provide for the family. For me, this is the place where I feel the most happy huh? to be able to grow with the ocean, fishing, surfing, and having your, your family with you in such a beautiful environment. It's special to be with my family and my grandparents' land. You know, this is like what connects us to our land. This is the land of our ancestors. It's always been preserved 
you feel disconnected to technologies or like things like that, you know. So you go there, eating with the loved ones, uh, you know, swimming in the river, you appreciate the, the simple things, huh? You know, in Tahiti, the people there, they always say, oh, why you go surfing? Uh, it doesn't like, fills you up. Go fishing, be a fisherman. It's more efficient. Surfing doesn't bring you anything. I'm like, no, I can do both. I can surf, I can fish at the same time. Especially for me, my dream is just to be known as one of the best, if not the best surfer in Te Ahupu. Huh? Fishing feeds my belly, but surfing feeds my soul for sure. I love it so much here. That's like my lifestyle, you know? And for us, huh, that lives here, this is paradise. It's just simple life, you know?